What's good, family? I know the sneaker game is in a weird place right now, but there's a lot of gems you could get for a steal these days. In this video, I decided to compile a list of some of the sneakers I think you might regret if you don't buy them sooner. Obviously, take this with a grain of pepper. You don't have to go out there and buy any of these sneakers. Just take it for entertainment if that's what you want it to be. I found some of my favorite sneakers on the market, which I think are either gonna go up in value as time goes on, they're not getting the recognition they deserve, and I decided to show some respect to these kicks in this video. If you're doing up enjoying, make sure you get this one to over 200 likes. That's a light request, you feel me? Y'all could get there easily. Also, while you're down there, subscribe to the channel because we're on road to 30K and we'll get there sooner if you end up subscribing. But all that being said, let's get into this video. First pair I want to talk about is the Jordan 1 Low in the shadow colorway. I know y'all might be tired of me talking about this sneaker, but listen, it's one of those pairs that I think everyone should have in their collection. It's extremely wearable. Whether you're going to wear them with shorts, sweatpants, pants, anything you need, you could definitely rock the Shadow Jordan 1 Lowe's with. We are going to be seeing the Mocha colorway drop in a couple weeks. I'm excited to get those early for y'all. First pair was Jordan 1 Lowe's Shadows. Second up on this list is another Jordan. Actually, a pair we saw released at the beginning of August. Jordan 6 Olympics. Listen, Listen, bro, this is one of those pairs you could damn near go to Foot Locker, your local sneaker store, and you could pick this one up for 20 to 30% off. And it's dead ass a few weeks after the release. So if this is one you were excited for or you were waiting for the prices to dip a little bit, I'm excited to let you know that this is one you could grab at a fraction of the retail price. I don't think this is one of those that's gonna keep going down. If anything, it'll go up as time goes on. So we're at that sweet spot where it's a good time to pick up the Jordan. Jordan 6 Olympics. Hey, if y'all were waiting or you were being patient, damn near in luck, bro. You could get these below retail and it's a beautiful shoe to me at least. Next up, we got a pair that's not resellable, but it is the Adidas BW, bro. I'm tired of seeing Sambas. I'm tired of seeing Gazelles. This is damn near the same shit, but with a little bit of a twist. Doesn't have to do with the resale value or lack thereof. It's more so about the fact that you might regret not buying these sooner because they might be Become the more popular sneaker and you could low-key get there before everybody else does. This is a beautiful shoe. I've always loved the shape of this BW model before I even knew it because I love the Margiela replicas and they basically replicated the BWs. It's damn near a one-to-one -one replica, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Beautiful shoe, fraction of the price when it comes to the Margiela's. They don't have any resale value, but then again, that's not what we're here for. You feel me? This is just a clean sneaker that I would recommend to somebody. I actually need these. I'm not gonna lie. Next up on this list is the New Balance 1906A. I know they got the 1906 R's, D's, all of them, but the A's is probably my favorite one, bro. I love the way that the string is almost deconstructed. In my opinion, if Virgil was to make a New Balance, it would look something like this. Almost like the unfinished project sneaker is kind of the reason why I actually really love these. I don't know if this is an old model, if this is a new take on the 1906. Six. You guys let me know in the comments, but this is a fire sneaker. I've been seeing it around a little bit more than ever lately, so I decided to throw it on this list. This is the one sneaker from this whole list that I actually want to get my hands on simply because New Balance is extremely comfortable. These go crazy. I don't think there's any way y'all could guess the next sneaker on this list. It's a Jordan 4, bro, but this time I'm recommending the Paris Olympic 4s. These right here, contrary to popular belief, go crazy bro y'all seeing the on feet as i'm speaking right now it's damn near speaking for itself if y'all don't like these and you like the cool grays or the cause fours i just don't get your perspective because the execution materials the way this sneaker looks on feet is honestly comparable to none i love the way these feel the way they look clean ass shoe but if you're not feeling these fours you can fuck around and get the military blues those are right at around retail and they're not gonna stay there for too long i'm trying to to tell y'all. You could get the bread fours that dropped earlier this year. I think those actually went up, then they low key dipped a little bit, and I'm pretty sure they're right back on the up. So if y'all ever wanted those bread reimagines, time is ticking, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Try to find a lightly used pair, some shit like that, to save you some money. There's a lot of fours on the market, and they're not even reselling for what they used to, which is a lovely thing. Next sneaker on this list is actually the Jordan 3 Craft. Jordan brand. Rare 
barely drops a GR that's better than the collabs. And with this one right here, they checked all the boxes from the quality being on point. Fact that they switched it up a little bit, gave us something special on feet. They go crazy, bro. Especially with this back tab, the Jordan and the Nike on there. We haven't really seen something like this on a GR ever. So this is going to be one of those that people will regret. Trust me. I've put these on multiple lists and it's for a reason. I truly believe in this sneaker out of all the GRs that dropped this year. This has to be top three non OG colorways. I got to make sure I emphasize the non OG colorways part. One of those different pairs that are fire and they not even going for nothing crazy. Next one isn't really a specific sneaker, but it's more so like a brand or a category of sneakers that I think shouldn't go unnoticed simply because Yeezys are never coming back. You feel me? So if you wanted the Wave Runners, if you wanted the Pirate Blacks, talking to me, Turtle Doves, all those OG Yeezys that you ever wanted are still at a somewhat reasonable price. And mind you, they're never coming back. I don't even think there's any more restocks lined up for Adidas. I think it's actually cooked at this point. So if you ever wanted Wave Runners, Pirate Black 350s, Turtle Doves, it's damn near the last time you'll be able to get them at the price that they're at now. Cause more stock isn't about to come out of these resellers you feel me so they're all out there whatever's out there is what's out there so once pairs start selling i can only imagine what these yeezys are gonna do later down the line i'm damn near speaking to myself with this video because there's a couple pairs that i actually would love to have in my collection just simply because of what they mean to the sneaker game as a collector these are valuable pieces that's just how i feel personally but i wanted to let y'all know that yeezys are probably cheaper than ever at this point and it's probably the the cheapest that they'll be. So if there's a pair that you ever wanted, consider it now rather than later. That's all I'm saying, bro. Grain of pepper at the end of the day, you do you. Next sneaker on my list is a Travis Canary Jordan 1s, the yellow joints. People were calling them the McDonald's Golden State Warriors joints. This colorway is gonna go up, bro. I had a pair. My shits came with a defect. Low key, the whole shit was missing on the back. So I had to return them. After I returned them, prices low key went down and I even considered buying them again. But by the time I was gonna go back to buy them, they went right back up. So I was just like, nee, I don't really need them. Low key in the middle of moving, don't need to spend more money, right? But this pair is gonna be worth eight to $900. And if you, my friend, wouldn't mind buying these and just holding them, I'm pretty sure you will be able to make some profit down the line, whether you like them or not. This colorway on the Travis Scott is something new and refreshing to the point where it makes me wanna wear it. Everything from Travis is damn near brown, light brown, or a darker brown, you feel me? So the fact that he decided to put some type of color on something i think it'll resonate with more people than we think type shit we got two more sneakers to go over one of them being the ama Menier jordan threes in the black colorway while you were sleeping joints top 10 sneaker of the year to me personally bro you feel how you feel a lot of people saying these are trash we waiting for the black cement threes i feel you bro but you can't deny quality when you see it bro quilted lining crazy Easy details on the inside. We did a full review for these. If you guys do want to check it out, I will leave a link at the top of the description and at the end of the video if y'all want to check that out. These go crazy, bro. Crazy. Especially with the cream laces in them. You cannot tell me these don't go hard. Washed out burgundy feeling. A1 steak sauce, bro. A banger. And resell for these, hold up, hear me out, is retail, bro. They're going for like retail plus a little bit of tax. A couple years back, these shits would have been 400 dollars minimum bro because look at the og pair and what they're doing this isn't too far off like i think these might be debatably better for some people i'm not saying they're better for me definitely a solid ass colorway that will not be worth 200 dollars forever i don't see why these don't go up to 300 once the sneaker market picks up a little bit fire collab had to make this list had to like there's no other way the last sneaker on this list i actually don't own but it's more than 
one colorway. So I guess I'll talk about both of these. The Their SBs, which is like the black and green colorway, almost has like a gray rough suede around the toe. These go hard, bro. And it's another one of those SBs that I know a couple years back would have been $400. Nowadays, pairs like the Their SBs or the Big Money Savings aren't really resonating with people. Nike SB hasn't done anything different. They've been giving the same amount of detail, same amount of quality behind these pairs. It's just people are being way more selective and that's reflecting on the market. You feel me? People aren't going out here just buying two pairs a week, three pairs a week like we were a couple years back. You got to kind of pick and choose your battles type shit, especially when you got other priorities to take care of. It just doesn't make sense. So pairs like these end up going for crazy steals. The Their SBs are going for like 150 160 retails 125 135 if i'm not mistaken so that's already right around the block and i love to see it bro i cannot lie to y'all there's a lot of bangers if y'all want another part to this video make sure y'all comment down below y'all want a part 27 i don't know what part we on but we definitely could keep dropping these bitches for y'all if you enjoyed this video get this one to over 200 likes that way i know that y'all want more content like this comment video ideas in the comments as well i'm gonna try to do best sneak to pick up in September. That should be coming soon because low key September's coming soon. So expect that video shortly. All that being said though, I'm not really gonna talk y'all ear off. I think this one is wrapped up, buddy. If y'all enjoyed, y'all know exactly what to do. If y'all made it this far into the video, let me know what your favorite condiment is in the comments. For me, sweet baby rays, bro. Hickory, sweet barbecue, banger. Can't go wrong with it. That's mine personally. Let me know what yours is in the comments. Click one of these two videos here because that's what YouTube is recommending you to watch based on your previous history. I'm actually going to throw the I'm on in year three review there because I need y'all to see how crazy those are in hand. All that being said, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.